The purpose of the control phase is to transition into daily work. And that's the process discipline of how the routine operation of the organization is done. Now, we would like to convert all daily work into value-adding work. So there is no waste, there is no loss, there is no inefficiency. In Japan, they call this daily work Nichijo Gemba Kanri. So this is the daily management process of the Gemba, or the workplace. And so the idea is, what we want to focus on is, how do we have a daily management system and document it using standard work instructions, tables of business perform or fundamental performance measures, and implementation plans for projects that are going to be introduced into that daily work. The objective is create value-adding work, and that refers to the work process that's adding value to the flow of the activities that are going through it. Now, what we see in organizations is most organizations have sort of three levels of performance. And the discipline, the idea of this daily work is at the value-adding level of performance. That's where we see most of the frontline workers of the organization, whether they be in a production process, a sales process, a service process, or in some sort of planning process, or even a research process. And the idea is there has to be some discipline. The objective of those processes is to create perfection, to create output with no loss. And what we see is the type of loss very often is muda loss. And so we create systems around that, Nietzsche Joe Conry systems, and then quality systems to check that daily work. And so self-inspection, the, the uh, daily management system for workers, housekeeping rules called 5S for workers, quality circles and worker activities that combine and give them a participative environment so each person can check the work of the others and they can participate in the creation of a process that flows smoothly. Now, the level above them is cross-functional management. The objective there is to have harmony, to have a smooth flow across the work processes so each of the functions works together. And here we see no flow waste. This is Mura waste. And so this type of waste is where we're looking at the 5S activities for managers, which are all about coordinating work across teams. And here we might have project teams, and the project teams are going to combine workers from different functional areas to create an overall outcome. At the senior level of an organization, we're looking at agility. How do we create the positioning of our organization so we do the right processes with the right products, delivering the right services in actually the right geographic markets. And so this is the idea of the strategy process for policy management. And so as we're looking at this, we see workers mistake-proof the standard work. They reduce the wastes that are observed in the processes. Managers create improvement experiments and streamline the flows of work in the organization. And the job of the executive function is to assure strategic change accomplishes what's necessary to give long-term financial and operational strength to the organization. So the nature of the job in all of these levels of the organization is to encourage the delivery of goodness and to prevent the occurrence of badness. Now, this is done because we will have, first of all, standard work. So what we have to do is learn to manage the mess in organizations. Remember when we started our green belt training, one of the things we talked about is we have to learn to deal with dirty data in messy processes. So now in the control phase, we come back, what we want to do is standardize those processes. We need to get rid of the dirty data. We have to straighten up those processes so we have a process that is controllable. That's why the entry level condition here is standardize, do, check, act. So we have our observation, we've studied it, we've understood what needs to be done, and now we have to convert into a standard. The work team ultimately though, in this check function, will come back and evaluate, are we still doing okay? So they have to have a measurement system, they have to have criteria, they have to have some uh, way of interpreting the criteria to make a decision or a judgment is quality still happening? And if quality is not happening, can they self-correct the process? So corrective action or change management at the very first level is to get the process back to the state of control.
We've talked about special causes of variation. So special cause of variation is when the routine work of the organization somehow slips out of that control function and is doing something we didn't expect. And then we'll go into the plan, do, check, act. Let's get that back into a state of control. And when we check our measurement system, it's back in the state of control. Then we revert back to this standardized do, check, act function. These are the fundamental processes that exist in all of the Japanese management systems, and we see they are what makes up the daily management activities. So we look in the first level of the work order, where the workers are. We have to ask ourselves a question. What's the responsibility of the worker? So the worker has to learn to perform their own level of work and work required to a standard. They have to expand the scope of work to work in adjacent areas, otherwise they won't know what is the quality of work coming to me or what do I need to deliver to the next process. They also perform work then according to the standard requirements of that job or task that they are assigned. They have to check the quality of the incoming process deliverables and check the quality of their own work to make sure that the flow is not upset by some sort of inadvertent mistakes. They improve the efficiency of their own work in order to reduce the cycle time and improve the flow of the process. They also have to integrate the performance of their work with the different aspects of the system that they're working within as a matter of continual improvement. And by doing this, they will create then suggestion ideas at the system level improvements that could create increased effectiveness and efficiency even beyond their workflow. Now, the worker does not operate in isolation. They have to work in conjunction with a supervisory function. And the job of the supervisory function is to overlook the workers and to see, is the standard workflow happening? Are we creating failure opportunities or risks in the system where we don't actually create the output that we need? In other words, we're not achieving our objectives. Also, the supervisory function has to observe the workers and say, are they doing standard work? Do they need training in their functions to perform the standard work? or to do problem solving when a special cause of variation comes up. They should also monitor the process and say, are we getting the flow efficiency of the cross, this process? Is every part of the process performing its tasks the right way? So they check worker performance against the standard work requirements. And then they will facilitate, when they see something wrong, a problem solving activity, either with the individual workers or with a team of workers when they see that the system is no longer able to flow properly. And then they'll assure the workflow balance, making sure that each worker is not over operating in terms of doing more tasks than available in the time to perform them. And they'll rebalance the tasks so that each worker is able to keep up with the flow of the line. They'll also be then talking with the workers, soliciting ideas, what can we do to improve the process? And when ideas are coming forward, they will then conduct small experiments to improve process performance. And then when they find those things that actually make the performance, they'll recommend those to management as new levels of standard work. By the way, supervisors will also work with each other to improve the system level of performance and conduct higher level performance improvement projects. So we see standard work is a fundamental process of discipline. It's following through and understanding what are we doing? Where can we get these mistakes coming into the process? What can we do to create workflow that's actually going to give us the predictable factory? And how can we move this process to a state of control so that management has confidence in the quality of the work, the quantity of the work, and the cost of the work that's being done?